Hello everyone, what's up? This is Rich, and in this video I'm showing you the Windows Live Writer. This is a blogging tool for those that like to write blogs, and uh, it's more than just spaces, and I'll show you that in a second. If we go to Google and just search for Windows Live Writer, just like that, and click I'm feeling lucky, it will take you directly to the page where you can get Windows Live Writer Beta 3. And yes, it is a beta product, but so far as I've been using it, it's actually run quite well. All you have to do is click the download link and we go to the site and then just click the button that says try it. Now, as I said, this can publish to Windows Live Spaces, SharePoint, WordPress, Blogger, LiveJournal, TypePad, Movable Type, Community Server, excuse me, server, and many other web blog services. The cool thing about this client is that it just works in so many different places. And for those of people out there that say that Microsoft doesn't release anything decent, this would say to the contrary, because this is a very, very cool piece of software. And I'll show you how it works. Now what we do is that if you want to add a blog, your blog, you go to web blog and then just add a web blog account. Now it brings up this screen where you can choose a SharePoint, Windows Live Space or another web blog service, which most of us will be doing. And I click next and I'm going to use Live Journal as an example. I have a Live Journal account. I never use it. I just have it so I can uh converse with my other live journal friends. But anyway, the site is frostedside.livejournal.com. Just like that. It asks for the web home web blog homepage URL, not the URL to the actual admin, just to the regular homepage. And then you put in your username and your password. And you can opt to save it or not and click next. It will analyze shows a little animation here and then it says allow writer to create a temporary post what it does it creates a temporary post just to test it and immediately removes it after it sends it'll say yeah go ahead detects the style then you name it you can put some additional settings if you want to and editing in advance you don't have to do this but it's there if you want and then click finished and you are done this actually will post whatever you put here goes in this instance to live journal now you can tell because it shows the live journal icon under the web log now the cool thing is is that you can have multiple web logs in this so if i click on web log i also have my personal blog and pc mechanic there if i go to pc mechanic it changes it to a wordpress icon so you can very easily tell where you are what web blog you're using and it's just neat so if i choose my personal blog here it's also a wordpress excuse me, WordPress blog. Now I'd say other than um, just straight writing, like I'll give you an example here. If I go the quick brown fox jumps, jumped over the lazy dog. Now let's just say I misspell a word like this. Automatically shows that it's misspelled. I can right click and it shows all the different spellings you can get. You can add it to the dictionary or ignore it. It works very much like a word processor, which is good. So in this one, I'm just going to choose dog, and it changes it. That's cool. Another thing that you can do is uh, if you highlight something and you want to insert a link, you can just hit this and do insert hyperlink, and go ahead and type it in, and then just say, okay, I'll uh, just go to some random sample.com and hit okay and then it links it automatically and that's cool if we want to do a photo now the photo is pretty cool actually you know what before I show you that let me show you some other formatting options here if I highlight the whole thing and right now it's a paragraph if I want to change it to a heading I just do this changes it to heading 3 you know for bigger or smaller text and it has undo features too so if I do edit undo it puts it back to the way it was now the the pictures is the cool part in this. If I go and click on this icon, which is insert a picture, and here I am in my uh, the my pictures folder, and here's one I have of the uh, Epcot Center ride. 
So I will go ahead and select that. Uh, now to note, this is a big image. It's like a 3000 pixel image because it comes directly from a digital camera. I'll double click that. It's going to take it into the editor and size it. Now you notice it actually has a shadow. Over here you can actually choose borders. Drop shadow. You can go photo paper. If you do that, it puts a little border around it like this. You can inherit it from the web log, meaning its style or none. And it just shows, but I like the drop shadow because I think it's pretty cool looking. So anyway, we have here the uh, the drop shadow, and, and that's that's just awesome. And also, in addition to that, it will uh, link to the full-size image when you go to post, and that's pretty cool. Now, there's a couple of keyboard shortcuts here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, you can do Shift-11 and Control-F11, but I'm going to do it the manual way with the mouse. If I go View and then HTML code, you can directly edit the code very easily. You see how it makes its CSS border and things of that sort. I can go back to normal view and then it shows it in the normal view. This WYSIWYG is fantastic. This is just great. It's done correctly. At the bottom here, if I expand this, this is actually uh, WordPress specific options. I have my categories here. I can set my publish date. I can set uh, comments as open or closed. I can set the pings as allow or deny. I can set keywords. I can put in the author, you know, if there's several authors, a slug, the password if I want one, put my own et excerpt, send, put the draft backs, uh, excuse me, track backs in. And you notice how it says draft saved? It actually does save drafts. So if you're in the middle of working on it and you close out of this and you come back, your draft is right there. That's just great. I highly recommend the software if you do uh, any sort of blogging at all because uh, this is a WYSIWYG on steroids. This is fantastic and it works with a ton of different blogs. So no matter what blog you're using, it will probably work with Windows Live Writer. So I, I suggest give it a try. I think you'll like it. Uh, again, if you go to Google and just search for I'm Feeling Lucky, uh, you, <laughs> if you go to Google and search for Windows Live Writer and then click I'm feeling lucky you'll be taken right to the Windows Live Writer. Uh, also I will be providing the link in the uh, video description so you can click on that too or you can go to PCMac.com and see it there. So uh, happy blogging everyone. Take it easy.